Top of the morning to you. I'm Andy Graham, the senior deacon here at Union Congregational Church. I am pleased to announce that our sanctuary worship services will resume this coming Sunday, August 2nd. We're looking forward to seeing those who are ready to return to worshiping in the sanctuary. We understand that a good number of people are not ready to do that yet, which is why we will continue to live stream the services on Sunday morning. For the safety and well-being of everyone, please do not attend a sanctuary worship service if you have a fever or you're feeling a little under the weather. Also, when you enter the church, please be sure to wear your mask and to practice safe social distancing at all times. Current state guidelines require us to limit those who attend our in-person worship services to 40% of the sanctuary seating capacity. To make sure we don't exceed that limit, everyone who is planning to attend the sanctuary worship service is being asked to go to an online sign-up for that Sunday service. The link for the sign-up will be identified each week in the Hilltop News. The link will also be posted on the church's website and Facebook page. On Sunday morning, everyone will enter the building by using the door that leads to the church offices and fellowship hall. The door will be chained so it's open and no one will need to touch the handle. Once you enter the building with your mask on you, you will proceed to the sanctuary. And there'll be a sign here saying that face masks must be worn. You'll notice that blue tape has been placed on the floor to help ensure that people remain six feet apart. Do not proceed to the next line if there's somebody in front of you. Throughout the building, you'll notice X's on various doors to indicate areas of the church, such as Fellowship Hall, that are not to be used at this time. The bathroom across from the nursery and the bathroom next to the sanctuary will be available. When entering the bathroom, please use a tissue to open the door. The bathroom across from the nursery has a motion detector, so there's no need to touch the light switch. The light in the bathroom next to the sanctuary will be kept on while people are in the building. When using the faucet, please use a paper towel to turn the faucets on and off. When you arrive in Putnam Hall, you will find offering plates where you can place your offering before entering the sanctuary. When you enter the sanctuary, please use only the center aisle to go to the pew where you will be sitting. When exiting the sanctuary, please use only the outside aisles. <clears throat> there are arrows on the floor to indicate which way to walk. Once you've entered the sanctuary, you'll notice the X's that have been placed in the pews. The X's have been placed so that seating will alternate between the inside and outside aisles to maintain proper social distancing. Please do not sit on or between the X's. And remember, masks must be worn during the entire service. You will also notice that all the hymnals and Bibles in the pews have been removed to prevent the spread of the virus. There also won't be any bulletins. And because of that, the services will be projected onto the wall behind the choir loft. A plan is also underway that will allow us to improve the way the services are projected while also maintaining the sanctuary's historical ambiance. Also, although we hate to do it, those sitting in the pews will not be able to sing. 
the worship leaders will sing since there will be at least 15 feet between them and anyone sitting in the pews. One way you can participate in the music of the service is by humming or speaking the words to the hymns. After the worship service is over, there will be no coffee hour, and everyone will exit the building by going out the door to your left as you walk out of the sanctuary, or the main entryway, which will be to your right as you walk out of the sanctuary. We thank you for watching this video. We're doing our best to create an in-person worship experience that is safe for everyone, and we thank you for your understanding and cooperation.